Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that your tub, faucet, diverter, lever, knob, handle, whatever you want to call it, broke off before you get stressed out, this is a very friendly DIY project. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers in the bathroom now, and there is the tub spout. And as you can see, the diverter lever or handle or knob is missing. All we did was pull it up to divert the water to the upper shower head, and it fell out and into the tub. So what we need to do is remove this tub faucet or spout And in our case, we've got this little rubber seal. Yours may be caulked or siliconed around the actual medium point of your spout and the shower wall. Just carefully grab a utility knife and remove it. And again, in our case, we just got this rubber seal. You can purchase these at your local hardware store. I'll set that aside. And on the very bottom is an Allen screw. As you can see right there, and it's basically trial and error until you find the proper size Allen wrench. Go ahead and insert it into the screw and remove that screw. And you don't actually have to remove the screw all the way. Just go ahead and loosen it. And this is a press fit faucet and there is no internal threads inside the spout. All I'm going to do is carefully pull it out. As you can see here, there is also no thread on the copper pipe that feeds water into the spout. Now from here, let's head to the workstation. At the workstation now, a couple things I wanna talk about first. Grab your pull, and it's got this long rod or shaft and the top pull here. And in the event that this part separates from the rod, go ahead and screw it back in place. There should be internal thread, and in the event that yours does not have internal thread, it just pushes on and secures itself. And to alleviate it ever coming off again, you might wanna add just a little bit of super glue inside there. That's personal preference. The next piece, is this piece right here. And this is what your rod grabs a hold of inside your spout. And this rubber little grommet gasket has to be in there. And in the event that yours pops out, I wanna show you how to put this back in. And you will notice the inner portion is basically the cup portion. And the way this goes in is you wanna make sure you put that side in and that is flush on the bottom side or inner side. And then the outer surface is the surface shown here. Next, I'll shift this to the side, grab the spout, and I wanna show you once you put the actual pull inside the hole, it comes down and you'll notice two little notches here or tabs. And this piece right here is going to slide in place inside here with the rubber gasket on the opposite side of your pull. And that little hook right there is actually going to be the place where this little groove rests inside. And this might take some patience and time to align these properly. Basically, all you're going to do is push these in. And as you can see here, that's a pretty simple process. And from here, we will test it. And what happens over time, there's a lot of calcium buildup on the inner portion here. And when you try to pull this pull, that inner plastic piece no longer has room to shift conveniently and efficiently. Again, calcium buildup, or it could be rust buildup, or any other solids or grime that come out of your water over the years. So in the event that you have a lot of rust and calcium buildup right here, and you want to keep your spout, remove as much of the calcium or rust or whatever is there as you can. But be careful, you don't want to harm anything. So again, real quick, that is how it's supposed to go. From here, we'll head back to the bathroom. Back to the tub, it's a good time to clean any and all rust and calcium off the copper pipe that comes out of the wall. And again, this spout is a push fit or press fit type spout. And all we are going to do is align the spout hole to the pipe and push it in. Inside here is an actual rubber gasket that creates that watertight seal. Carefully align the pipe with the hole and you'll get to a point right there is where the pipe itself meets with the rubber gasket. From here, just carefully push it all the way flush. Grab your Allen wrench and secure that lower screw. And as you secure that lower screw, just apply a little bit of pressure to the spout to keep it flush with the shower wall. And you want to make sure it's straight. Making progress, the lower screw is secured. Now we have this rubber seal here and we are going to carefully reinstall that. And again, all this does is alleviate you having to run a caulk or silicone bead around your spout at the surface where it meets the shower wall. And this is kind of a cool little gasket to buy. We like it. And push it all the way flush with the shower wall as shown here. And from here, let's go ahead and test it. Water coming on. Look at that, perfect. Okay, 
and turn the water off. The bowl drops automatically as the pressure is released. Hopefully this helps DIYers. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. And one more thing, in the event that you're curious on where to purchase a replacement kit, in the event that your inner parts are broken or you can't get this top to stay on the shaft or rod, you will need to buy a replacement kit and we will have a link down below. So again, definitely check that out. Thanks again for watching.